Hello, bitch. 2004. Salute the VP, real bitch, because I'm here for some mo. Yes. <laughs> Wake up, bitch. Get up, bitch, and get on the gut. Hi. The VP General is right here, 2024, and I'm ready to start some more shit right when I hit the goddamn door. Now, this is my first video where I'm actually camming up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get up, bitch. Get up, bitch. Get up, bitch. <laughs> Salute, bitch. Salute. Salute the VP general, bitch. Salute, ho. Salute, bitch. Uh -uh. Salute. God damn it. Now, it took everything in me to come up here. I don't know why the spirits kept telling me. Because I ain't feel like discolored. Uh, so you see my hand, different color, my face. A mess. It's like my body. I'm exfoliating it. It's responding. The hands are like stubborn. Oh, I love you all too, but it's it's gradually coming along. I'm detoxing still. I think it's still toxing. Uh, uh, toxins in my body could be some bacteria, or something somewhere. Or it just uploaded a video. It's about three minutes long. I just did it now. Saying hello to Instagram, and I know a lot of you follow me on both platforms: the Instagram and the um and the YouTube. Oh, thank you, Shaka Dad. Child, I'm not where I want to be yet, but like I said, what's most important is that I'm alive and that the doctor saved my life, and I'm breathing. I got a chance to do it over and and get it get it right so um if i wasn't doing well tammy i wouldn't be here on the video i wouldn't be at home do i look sick to you i kept trying to tell these people i don't i don't know why they're misinterpreting what i said i said i'm tired yeah i don't i don't like the way i'm looking yet because i was so um had a skin infection. And when my skin gets infected like that and flares up, it turns black and blotchy different places. And so um, it's a little bit depressing and, you know, I'm working on it, but I never said that I still have an infection. The doctors would not have released me if I was still sick and I had infection in my blood, my urine, my skin, the abscess, abscess gone. Bacteria gone. So I don't, I don't, I don't, the people that say that, please don't talk to me like that. I, I, I watch now how people talk to me and you should do the same thing. I'm not going to let anybody talk to me. Oh, you're still sick. Oh, I hope you get better. And oh, I hope you recover. No, don't talk to me like that. Don't, don't, don't speak that to my body because I'm not sick anymore. I may say I'm tired and I don't like the way I'm looking. And that, like I said, that depresses me. I mean, but luckily I know how to make my own formulas. I make my own formulas to take for my body. I make my own formulas for my skin, for my hair. Thank God I grow my own hair back. I'm healing my skin. But I mean, because, oh my God, it was, it was so, I, I just to keep it real. Like I told you before, I had not had a bath for three weeks. When I had my surgery, because, you know, there are no bathtubs in the hospital and I couldn't take one because I had a hole in my butt with a tube and I was leaking. I could take a shower. Nobody would help me take a shower. I didn't want to go, you know, I'm very independent. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to make a mistake and get a drop of water in that wound and then cause it to get infected. And they had to go back and dig back down in there. That would have been a nightmare for me. I didn't want that. So I literally had to spot wash and spot scrub, just stand over a sink with hot water as hot as I could take it and dial soap and just take a lot of time and just scrub my body inch by inch, one titty, two titties, one shoulder, two shoulders, one elbow, the other, one ass, the other ass, God damn it. I mean, because I don't want to be staking. 
because I couldn't go home. They wouldn't let me go home. I couldn't talk them into that one. And nobody was in there to like help me bathe and nobody helped me get to the shower. So I, you know, I, you know me, I'm going to be, I'm not going to sit up and whine about it. I'm going to be ingenuity. In, 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 what do you call that word? Ingenuity. You use ingenuity and be creative and so I just go in there when nobody was coming to my room in between the times I knew they were going to come and go wash my ass. And they if they come in, then she just come in and see me goddamn busting it open because I don't want to be sitting there. Thank you, Demi J. And that's what I'm saying. I don't look like I did. I don't think you saw me. Like, I was, I was looking so sick. And I was feeling sick. And I couldn't even talk. I couldn't, couldn't, um... Really cold my breath. I, I I couldn't drink much water. Even if I drank maybe like an ounce of water, it's like, Bleh. you know, and, and, and at the bottom at the same time, I'm like diarrhea running off for like almost two weeks. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Wu Town, Texas in the house. And, and I was, I couldn't stand up. I might've been able to stand up maybe two hours, three hours. And then after that, I was like, ugh, I collapsed and I couldn't. Help it, so I had to stay close to my bed or be able to crawl <laughs> and get up the steps or something. When it when I felt it coming on, I better get down because I knew that I literally couldn't um, keep my consciousness. But what you didn't know, as if I as I told you, you couldn't. I, I wasn't going to show it when I was dancing uh, with the very first dance video, and you all went crazy, and I thought you were going to laugh at me because of my age. And I hadn't danced in years and nobody taught me how to dance. Oh my God, it's really been years. I was dealing with the swelling then in my feet and my legs because I knew I had the, the um, I had the cyst on my hip, but I didn't know that um, it was a abscess. I didn't know it was building up pus and infection and I just knew I felt like shit. But I wasn't gonna let you all, you know, know it. I I'll keep going, you know, when when I'm sick and um, I just tried to take some medicine. And hey, Bobby, I love you too, baby. I love everybody that has loved me and supported me and been here. And then I almost died. I, you didn't. You all didn't know. I had been suffering with this for a long time and skin infections for years. It had nothing to do with no bleach and damaging my skin through bleach. No. It was dealing with skin infections up and down. And it's amazing. People say these things about me that want you to turn on me and want you to dislike me, but they can never show you any proof of what they're saying about me. I've suffered with this quietly for years. And when I was dancing, I did the first dance. What was that? September, October, I was suffering with the cyst on my hip. I actually felt it on both sides. And I, I I still kept just trying to massage it, keep it down, and I kept going and and um, dancing. And when I was swollen, I would just you know like wrap my feet, and my legs with my ace bandages, and just prop them up, drink a lot of water, um, you know, try to do natural antibiotics and stuff. And it it, it I would get it down a lot of times. Uh, it's not I'm my hand on my phone. This time it 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 wasn't budging. It was so 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 bad, and it was so big. And uh, I I still I didn't I didn't tell you all, you know, uh, about it. I'm just trying to figure out how to get this thing down, and it wouldn't go down this time. And I stayed home, and then I went to trial, went went to uh, court, and and that's the day I just like really uh, when I collapsed uh, because I was so full of infection. And my friend, um, who was very, very, um, was a doctor, and I told her, and she she knew about it the other times, you know, and she would give me pointers to get through it. And this time, she's like, no, you're not going to get, you need to take your ass to the doctor. And I said, I hate doctors. I don't want to go. And I don't want them to see this, and I'm embarrassed and how this looks. And she was like, yeah, do, do you want to be embarrassed about how that looks and then get it taken care of? Or do you want to die in the house? And I was like, I'm not going to die in the house, bitch. <laughs> this is the VP general, bitch. You must salute this bitch. You must salute, bitch. Salute, salute me, salute me, bitch. Salute. I ain't going nowhere. 
I got a couple of things I'm going to take care of. She's like, now since you took care of, take your ass up there before I call them on you. And she called them on me. I still wouldn't go. Just <laughs> I still wouldn't go because I hate ambulances. Um. Oh, thank you, Christy Love 1903. Y'all are so kind to me. You know what I hate is that I spent, which has been every year of my life since about 2012 when I trusted the man in the conscious community from, from um, D, dhealthstore.com. Ernest Cooper, the Hudma'at Ra, who gave him the herbs, who first, when I first started experiencing the skin infections and the swelling is on my lymph nodes, blew up my neck, under my arms, and my whole body, my whole body blew up. Uh, then after that, I found out later I kept getting sick in the house and it was mauled because of the leaks and stuff from the other houses connected to mine, the condos. Um, and I, I didn't have any proof of that until what, two years ago when we broke up and we were fighting. So it's been an accumulation of things that cause a lot of skin problems and my... It was so much fungus in my body that my head looked like it was covered with like a plastic polymer stuck to it, like a cradle cap or something to my head. And it was itching and it, then I would scratch it and I would pull the skin off and it would bleed and crust up and then itch again. Okay, did they go in there and take it out or did it pop by itself? But still, did you have to go get it taken care of? So my hair, the, it, it, the crust on my head and the fungus in it, I didn't know what to do or what it was. It basically blocked the oxygen and any, me from getting the nutrients to the follicles. And I had female pattern baldness. It's like all of it fell out. It, it started like, I would just touch it lightly. Hey, my beautiful Kim. I got your daddy's um, candle up. I'm going to show you in a minute. It's absolutely gorgeous. I heard him talking. He liked it. It's like, oh, yes, I'm back in the house. I'm like, daddy, look, ain't nobody ever put you out. <laughs> you know, I've been going through some things. You know that? <laughs> These guys candles up right now. Wait a minute, sis. I'm going to go over there in a minute to show you so you know I'm not lying. And my hair, I would touch it. It was literally coming out in plugs. I lost like all this came out. All my edges came out. Uh, and it was so long. It was down to my waist. Thank you, the infinite aid. Thank you. Please don't tell me to get well soon because I'm not sick. I, mean, I don't know why you all keep saying that. Do I look sick to you? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be on camera. I haven't been on camera in a few months now because I wasn't feeling well and I was in the hospital and really wasn't looking like I wanted to look. I still don't, but I decided to just, I don't know, something been telling me the past few days, come say hello to y'all to let y'all know that the VP general is standing strong on all 10 and it's motherfucker and it don't stop. TikTok, it don't stop. Like, yeah, please don't, don't tell me it well soon because I'm not, I'm not sick. Don't, don't speak those things on me. Okay, I don't have that problem anymore. If I did, I'd still be in the hospital. As I said earlier, I'm I'm not. Oh, I can get it, Hard Tones TV. So you want some of that grown woman shit? I ain't gonna say no old woman shit. Oh, dear, yes, but grown. That grown and sexy ish. That's what you want some of that. Don't play with it now. Don't play with it because you might want to come over here and get a little sample and play and don't want to go back. Don't want to leave the dirty style. Goddamn, don't want to leave the VP General Drip's house. <laughs> oh, you said that? <laughs> are you up north? Where are you up north? Yeah, Mama Nova. Yes, and I made I created some new products because of my illness being in the hospital. I created new hair products. I created new skin products. My feet right now. How can I show you feet? You know, I know some of y'all niggas is freaky out there and got them feet fetishes and things. So how how do I show it to you? I don't know. Can um I don't know if you can see my foot. Got my plastic around my skin. 
treating it. Get all the dead skin off of it. How can I show? Oh, that's my foot. But then again, uh, how can I? I'm, I'm propping up on the because I can't see on that side. I'm trying to show you. Okay, let me. I'm gonna try to move it. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying to get it. God damn it. I mean, shit. How can I show you? Okay, that's my leg, my foot. I'm not plastic on it. Treat my skin to peel all that dead skin off. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not swollen up. I don't know if I gotta take my goddamn sock off. Huh. I'll do it the next time. <laughs> Take my sock off. What did you say? Um, big forever. Okay, with the VP. The, uh, 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 I know I, I know some niggas with some feet fetishes. I'm going to take the whole. Because see, now I can play. Like when Nipsey used to tell me to try on the shoes. I, I hadn't walked in so long because I've suffered with this illness so long. And the mold and fungus infections inside of my body. And made my my skin swell. Um, so now I I can I can go. I'm glad I didn't throw all my shoes away because I've been sick so long since like 2012 and into 2013. It's 2024. I'm just now coming up out of that curse, breaking that curse. Those are curses. When you get sick and when you get unexplained diseases and have freak accidents, have to go to the hospital, those are curses. That's the evil eye. Somebody jealous of you and jealous of your life, and they're trying to destroy your life, baby. So you better get some spiritual protection and start cleansing and protection immediately. Hit my cash out and make it clout because, you know, I've been sick for a while and then at the hospital. I don't feel pretty. I want you to help Drip feel pretty. Donate to me so I can buy something pretty. And I can buy me some sexy shoe. I can show my feet. Sis. I want to show you my feet. My feet and my legs. And I want to put on my sexy sandals with the... I want to put them... I, I like them. What I call them is them come fuck me softly pumps. Them high heel pumps with your toes out. So I can paint them. And then have that scrap around your ankle. Not strap. Scrap around your ankle. Yes. Yes, it's some nasty like the, you know, drip is with that shit. Go to a child of power, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm feeling kind of freaky. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like a Dina. You know, that, that, that late night creep. You know what I'm talking about? I'm ready for that late night creep, goddammit. And this nigga talking about from, comp this nigga talking about he coming outside too? Uh, heart to, mm. You gonna give me some of them late night creep pumps, and give me some of that. Give me some uh, some oil and shit to rub my feet and legs, huh? So I don't get f. Also, cause I don't want to be no arthritic old bitch in this motherfucker. I want to keep it flexible and limber in this bitch. Goddamn it! Cause y'all bitches ain't finna say that shit by me. Cause see, I'm saying, see, see, drip still got that. See, drip still got that. You see that? You see that? I just need them pumps to go on the end of these feet. You see what I'm saying? So I can take these socks off. Oh, y'all better get with it. It's cold out here. Y'all better get get on that, that late night freaking tip with your nigga. T-shirt and no panties on. You know, I ain't got no nigga. God damn it. So you know I have to entertain myself. You know I have to rub myself down. Oh, that it looks all too. Very flexible, goddammit. Don't, 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 don't get that shit fucked up. Don't go by your chronological, go by your biological body. And what you still make that thing do. See, I just see my grandmama had me lifting my leg up, goddammit, when I was by seven. <laughs> and anyway, well, let's go over here. Oh, let me go here. Yeah. Let's see what my baby doing. Oh, we look at that light behind me. How it's beaming. Oh, wow. Y'all see that? I'm trying to. Oh, God. Hold on. I'm trying to hold up a little bit because you ain't going to be that well. Can't really see the beams. Um, can't really see me. So let me flip it. Oh. 
Hey, baby. Okay, it went out for a minute. So, isn't that pretty? Oh, we. I know, it kind of reminds me of Angel Wing. You said that I was thinking the same thing. If you want me, if you want me to come back, hit my cash up, make it happen. But I got to go. Um, I had an emergency come up, baby. Love you all. I'll talk to you soon. Um, like I said, if you want me to come back and be able to get stuff need and keep getting well, hit my cash up, make it clap. I love y'all. I'll talk to you soon. I got to handle something.